Welcome to the American University Staff Award Ceremony. Hi, I'm Beth Muha, Assistant Vice President of Human Resources. I'm so glad that you've joined us to honor our staff for their outstanding achievements at the university this past year and acknowledge the great work at AU every day. This year we received nominations recognizing 197 individuals covering meritorious performance in up to seven categories, collaboration, customer support, faculty and staff collaboration, inclusive excellence, innovation and change, service to the AU community, and the Maria Bueno Award that honors frontline long-standing staff. Nominations were submitted by members of the AU community, including supervisors, subordinates, peers, faculty, and students. Winners of the Performance Awards receive a certificate, a monetary gift, and a day off from work. Before announcing the finalists, I want to thank the Staff Award Selection Committee, a team appointed by the President, Provost, and Vice Presidents. They donated their time to review the nominations and recommend winners. The selection team consisted of Tracy Calandrillo, Campus Life, Michelle Englert, School of Public Affairs, Samantha Howell, Office of Development, Emily Jansen, Athletics and Recreation, Jackie Palumbo, OIT Customer Service, Preeta Patel, Office of the Provost, and Sandra Rodriguez, University Communications. Today we've invited members of the AU Executive Team to announce this year's award finalists and winners. And here to announce our finalists and award recipient for collaboration is Courtney Searles, Vice President of Development and Alumni Relations. Thank you, Beth. The Collaboration Award is given to a staff member or group who contributes to team effectiveness by providing encouragement and support, helping others overcome obstacles, and accomplishing goals. I'm happy to announce the finalists for the 2022 Collaboration Award. Our first collaboration group is the Winter Preview Day Planning Team. Kevin Barrett, AU Police and Emergency Management. Joe Buda, Facilities Management. Brian Chapulis, Athletics and Recreation. Mark Cornell, Facilities Management. Josh Finver, Parking and Commuter Services. Gregory Fletcher, Facilities Management. Lucas Franco, Parking and Commuter Services. Eric Gordon, University Library. Jason Greco, Housekeeping. Ian Greenlee, AU Police and Emergency Management. Stanley Herring, Facilities Management. Paul Jimison, Facilities Management. David Lord, Facilities Management. Marilyn Muir, Facilities Management. And John Turner, Facilities Management. The Winter Preview Day planning team helped to successfully welcome a record-breaking 1,500 guests on February 21st, 2022, the first large-scale recruiting event in over two years. These campus partners helped the Office of Enrollment host Preview Day by working tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that we were ready to welcome the large number of prospective students and their families to campus and provide the best visitor experience for our guests, many of whom had never visited the AU campus. Thank you to the Winter Preview Day planning team. Our second finalists are the Office of Research team. Susie Birdsong, Office of Sponsored Programs. Zanetta Ford Bird, Office of Sponsored Programs. Jennifer Marr, Office of the Vice Provost for Research. Bridget Mullen, Office of Sponsored Programs. Stephen Pettix, Office of Sponsored Programs. Katrina Wade, Office of Sponsored Programs. And Matt Zembruski, Office of Sponsored Programs. Despite significant staffing shortages that caused considerable workload challenges, the Office of Research, or OR, assumed additional responsibilities, stepped into leadership roles, and affirmed their support for the mission and the faculty they serve. During the first two quarters of fiscal year 2022, the Office of Research team processed a record level number of proposals, assisting AU researchers to submit more than $80 million in funding requests and receive nearly $30 million in sponsored research awards. In addition, the OR piloted a new ticketing system, 
developed new resources to enhance customer service, and launched a quarterly newsletter that highlights the outstanding accomplishments of researchers across campus. Congratulations to the Office of Research Team. Our third finalist is the Challenge Accepted Web Branding Team. Francesco DeLeo, Solutions Engineering. Marcus Mello, Solutions Engineering. Tanya Ilse, University Marketing. Blake Patterson, Solutions Engineering. Sadia Ramsey, University Marketing. Lori Trayers, Application and Data Services. BJ Whitaker, Solutions Engineering. And Julie Zito, University Marketing. The rebranding team coordinated the launch of the Challenge Accepted and Change Can't Wait campaigns with work performed by a third-party web developer. The work was complex, and it had to be integrated into the university's web presence on both the main website and the engaging network alumni system. Both campaign launches were major successes and propelled the university forward. Thank you to the Challenge Accepted web branding team. And the winner of the Collaboration Award is the Winter Preview Day Planning Team. Congratulations, team. Thank you, Courtney. Our next award for customer support is presented by Trevina Bird, Vice President, General Counsel, and Board Secretary. Thank you, Beth. The Customer Support Award is given to a staff member or group who provides timely and professional service to internal and external customers, such as students, faculty, staff, or other constituents. They are responsive to customer requests and are courteous and considerate of the customer's needs when making decisions. I'm pleased to announce the finalists for the Customer Support Award. Our first finalists are Sherman Medeiros from AU Central and Edith Ann Cook from the Student Health Center. Sherman and Edith Ann work together to manage and transfer the process for students to waive or enroll in the university mandated student health insurance, transferring it from the Student Health Center to AU Central to support student COVID vaccination requirements and other related health care responsibilities. Since AUC took over the process in July 2021, communication with students and service delivery has improved. AUC has responded to 1,400 inquiries in ServiceNow, and health insurance inquiries have become the second top reason for customers contacting AUC. Congratulations, Sherman and Edith Ann. <laughs> Our next finalist for the Customer Support Award is Tavia Harper from the Counseling Center. Tavia is the first touch point for students contacting the Counseling Center, and often students are at their lowest point. The person answering Counseling Center calls must be gentle, professional, and thorough. Tavia is not a therapist, but finds herself balancing patience, empathy, and boundaries with students and parents. In addition, she does everything from greeting the police at the door if they come to escort a student to troubleshooting technology issues when students get disconnected from their telehealth appointments. Because of Tavia, students get access to the care they need compassionately and she successfully navigates challenging situations, making the entire Counseling Center's job easier. Thank you, Tavia. <laughs> Our third finalist is Olive Workhu from Facilities Management. Olive took it upon himself and his team to implement safety precautions for the shuttle operations. They quickly fabricated plexiglass partitions for each shuttle to keep the drivers and customers as safe as possible within the first days of the pandemic outbreak. Upon our return to campus last fall, Olive worked closely with the Registrar's Office and with students to modify bus routes and schedules to provide appropriate distancing, making everyone's commute safer and easier. Thank you, Olive. <laughs> and the winner is Tavia Harper from the Counseling Center. Congratulations, Tavia. Thank you, Trevina. Our third award, recognizing faculty and staff collaboration, is presented by Seth Grossman, Vice President of People, External Affairs, and Counselor to the President. Thank you, Beth. 
The Faculty and Staff Collaboration Award recognizes faculty and staff whose collaborative efforts break down barriers and make American University an exceptional place to live and to work. I'm pleased to present the finalists for this year's Faculty and Staff Collaboration Award. Our first finalists are from the Disability Plus Affinity Group, and they include Tanya Aho the from the Department of Critical Race, Gender, and Culture Studies, Anna Cook from the Department of Public Administration and Policy, Charlie Fogel from the Office of Development, Mark Medwin from the Department of Performing Arts. The founders of the Disability Plus Affinity Groups unite disabled and neurodivergent AU faculty and staff and seek to foster a positive disability culture at AU. In their first year, the Affinity Group has provided community and connection for disabled and neurodivergent community members, including those with chronic illness, physical disabilities, and other conditions or disabilities. They have educated disabled and non-disabled community members about the need and experiences of the disability community at AU and increased the visibility and support for disabled students. Congratulations to the Disability Plus Affinity Group. Our next finalists are from the Community Outreach and Program Development Team, a collaboration of faculty and staff to improve our community engagement. These include Marcy Campos from the Center for Community Engagement and Service, Amanda Chautka from the Department of Literature, Noemi Chautagui de Jesus from the Department of Psychology, Garrett Grady Lovelace from the School of International Service, Ariana Lopez from the Center for Community Engagement and Service, and Jane Palmer from the Department of Justice, Law, and Criminology. This collaboration between staff and faculty has improved coordination across all our schools to support service-based and partner initiatives in the DC area. A few examples of their successful outcomes include partnerships between Martha's Table and the School of Education around training early childhood educators and the Kogod School Businesses Plan to support their efforts to address food security issues. The team has also gained traction in community-based learning at AU. We have 18 community-based course titles in the fall. Five of them will be taught by faculty new to the program. The efforts of this team are building critical connections with DC and the region. Thank you to the community outreach team. And our last finalists are from the School of Education Reading and Intervention Team, and they include Aliyah Evans from the School of Education, Ochez Joseph from the School of Education, and Danielle Sodany from the School of Education. AU School of Education joined other local universities to address DC public schools reading proficiencies that were at or below basic levels and the gap that existed between students of color and white students. The team partnered with schools, recruited SOE undergraduates, ensured access to professional training for the AU students, and launched this intensive tutoring and reading support program in just two months. Today, over 30 students in two DC public schools are working with 17 AU students on reading and supporting language development and communication. The pilot program has established an ongoing opportunity for SOE teacher education students to work in schools using proven methods and anti-racist reading pedagogy while supporting strong collaborative partnership with school communities. Thank you to the SOE reading intervention. And the winner of this year's award is the Disability Plus Affinity Group. Congratulations to you and all the finalists. Thank you, Seth. Next, Fonta All, Vice President of Undergraduate Enrollment, Campus Life and Inclusive Excellence, will announce the finalists and winners of the Inclusive Excellence Award. Thank you, Beth. The Inclusive Excellence Award is given to a staff member, a group who makes outstanding contributions to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and advances the goals of AU Inclusive Excellence Plan. I'm pleased to present the three 2022 finalists for the Inclusive Excellence Award. First is Jerry Mitchell from WAMU. Jerry created and released Lift Every Voice, a series of 45 audio modules for Black History Month broadcasts to WAMU's broadcast audience throughout the DMV in February of 2022. Jerry organized and led a team of collaborators to create informative tributes to figures and events in African-American history. The series is now available online. Congratulations, Jerry, for this informative. <laughs> Second nominee is Priti Menon from the School of Public Affairs. Priti created a racial and ethnic disparities, otherwise known as RED, 
assessment tool for treatment court programs and a suite of resources for treatment court professionals to identify and alleviate red in their programs. As a result of the tool and resources, treatment courts have changed their policies and practices to make them more inclusive to all. Thank you, Pretty, for a job well done. <laughs> Last but certainly not least is the Latino and Hispanic faculty and staff affinity group. Claudio Blount, Washington College of Law, Caroline De Leon, Office of the Vice Provost for Undergraduate Studies, Jackie Garcia, Human Resources, and Elmer Iglesias from College of Arts and Sciences, Graduate Admissions. The AU Latino and Hispanic Faculty and Staff Affinity Group's mentorship program bridges the gap between the Latino, Hispanic, and Latinx AU communities. Now in its third year, the 2022 cohort had 41 mentees and 22 volunteer mentors and has evolved into a campus-wide collaboration that provides a safe space for our students and a sense of belonging outside the classroom. It's an opportunity for students to be seen other than simply a person of color or minority. Congratulations <laughs> to the affinity group for John Welding. And the winner is the Latino and Hispanic faculty and staff affinity group. Congratulations to the winners of the Inclusive Excellence Award. Congratulations to all of our nominees for a job well done. Thank you for everything you do on behalf of American University. Thank you, Fanta. Our next award for Innovation and Change is presented by Steve Munson, Vice President and Chief Information Officer. Thank you, Beth. The Innovation and Change Award is given to a staff member or group who prioritizes innovation among team members and encourages reasonable and calculated risk taking. As a result, it improves the university and makes AU a better place to live and work. I'm pleased to announce the finalists for the Innovation and Change Award. Our first finalist is Cole Rampelmeyer from the Office of Campus Life. In consultation with the COVID-19 response team, Cole developed a dynamic form that allows event schedulers to generate a unique per-event visitor vaccine attestation that feeds into a single database. This facilitates reports and lookup capabilities that event schedulers can refer to for future events. This also significantly reduces the workload for event schedulers and the COVID-19 response team when hosting events with guest participants. Congratulations, Cole. <laughs> Our next finalists are from the hybrid work modality team. Shelly D'Amico from Human Resources, Terry Fernandez from Office of Information Technology Customer Service, Michelle Frederick from Human Resources, Jackie Garcia from Human Resources, Brenda Harner from Human Resources, Deidre Johnson, Human Resources, Ann Joyner, Human Resources, John O'Malley, Human Resources, Abby Pushkar from Academic Affairs, Andy Rowe from Human Resources, Katherine Simpson from Human Resources, Andrew Tozolowski from Graduate and Professional Studies, Kate Van Order from the Office of People and External Affairs, Sheila Way from Human Resources. With short notice, the team designed and implemented the hybrid modality program for all staff positions to support the fall 2021 return to on-campus operations. This entailed revising university policies, working collaboratively with departments to assign each position to an appropriate modality, and training managers throughout the organizations, all in a few weeks. Their efforts have provided increased flexibility for staff and changed the way the AU works now and in the future. Thank you to the hybrid work modality team. <laughs> and finally, the Eagle Online Excellence Team. Luis Alvarado from the Office of Vice Provost for Undergraduate Studies. Allison Gabriel from the Office of the Vice Provost and Chief Online Officer. Ashley Rokomo from the University Library, Jiping Zhang from the Office of the Vice Provost and Chief Online Officer. 
The Eagle Online Excellence Initiative recognizes the importance of course design as a critical component of teaching excellence. The team supports AU faculty members in their online course development by providing tools, resources, expert guidance, and individualized feedback. In 2022, the team moved to the Quality Matters rubric, a national benchmark. They also created microcourse learnings to accommodate faculty schedules. The efforts of the Eagle Online Excellence Team ensure that AU online programs are offered with the highest quality based on national standards and are effective online learning experiences for all students. Thank you to the Eagle Online Excellence Team. And the winner is the Hybrid Work Modality Team. Congratulations to the team. Thank you, Steve. And now to present our final award for service to the AU community is Matt Bennett, Vice President and Chief Communications Officer, who will be presenting from a remote location. Thank you, Beth. The Service to the AU Community Award is given to a staff member or group who responds to institutional priorities, either planned or extraordinary, that transcend everyday job responsibilities and who achieves outstanding results. I'm pleased to announce the finalists for the Service to the AU Community Award. Our first finalist is Tiana Hakimzada from the Office of Enrollment. Tiana has overseen the campus visit experience over the past two years, ensuring the safety of staff and visitors while providing prospective students and families with the best possible experience on AU's campus. Tiana restructured the Student Ambassador Program by transforming the 100 plus volunteer organization into a 40 person paid program, increasing motivation and engagement among the student workers. Additionally, she created a new process that decreased the time to train new tour guides by 75%, increasing our visitor capacity without sacrificing the quality of ambassadors tours. AU received a record-breaking 20,300 applications this year, and much of the increase can be attributed to the positive campus visit experiences. Thank you, Tiana, for your work in welcoming our prospective students. Our second finalist is Samira Akbar from the School of Communication. In the fall of 2021, Samira found herself short-staffed in SOC's Office of Student and Academic Affairs. In addition to her responsibilities, Samira assumed her former supervisor's duties and provided academic advising to 300 students. Samira shouldered these responsibilities for six months, ensuring that students, faculty, and colleagues continued to receive services from the office. Samira did all of this with an even disposition and the student experience in mind. Thank you, Samira, for your service to the students and faculty at SOC. And finally, we have Amanda Stedman from the University Library. Amanda is recognized for her outstanding service to the Department of Performing Arts faculty and students. She provided a range of support from helping the Applied Music Lab prepare for hybrid instruction to managing a class of 121 students when the DPA lost its graduate TA. Amanda helped create a gathering place where young artists of the DPA can exchange ideas, practice their instruments, learn their lines, and hone their craft. Amanda also co-created and administers the DPA Music Library's Soundbite series, an informal lunchtime series that provides a performance outlet for DPA students and faculty. Thank you, Amanda, for your work at the library and for our faculty and our students. And the winner, Tiana Hakimzada from the Office of Enrollment. Congratulations, Tiana. Back to you, Beth. Thanks, Matt. Even though we couldn't recognize everyone nominated for an award today, we're impressed and appreciative of the work each nominee did for the university community this year. We encourage you to take a minute to visit the Staff Appreciation website to check out the list of award nominees. Congratulations to all the award nominees and the 2022 Staff Award winners.